Hello, my name is Josh and this is an instructional video on how to install a vinyl wrap onto your refrigerator. Now here we can see the first step is to clean your surface. It's incredibly important to make sure that your surface is vacant of any dust or debris. The vinyl is very thin and so any small pieces will show through and make small bumps. So we want to make sure that we're very vigorous with our cleaning. Here we're going to be using Avery Dennison's Supreme Ratcast 900 black brushed. It's an Aerogress vinyl, high quality cast that we're going to be able to lay on here rather smoothly. Go ahead and pin the graphic up and make sure that it will fit on your panel. Reposition if you need to. Now go ahead and peel back the release liner from the vinyl. This is so that we can position it up against it and start our install without having to peel back the entire vinyl. It's going to want to grab onto itself, but that's all right. Go ahead and separate it if it does. And fold that release liner so that it reveals the vinyl and pin it up to the refrigerator. You're going to want to have a little bit of space on the top of your panel, wrapping it around. Go ahead and pin it up to the refrigerator using your hand. And see, we only need about two inches, two and a half inches of space on the top so that we can wrap it around and completely cover our white refrigerator. It's pretty important because we're working with white that we have just enough vinyl to cover every surface. Now here on the left, we have quite a few inches of extra material here. We can go ahead and cut that off. Just make sure that we're mindful of how much space we're going to need on the outside. And we can cut that down the panel and make sure it's consistent. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight because we're going to be cutting it again at the end here. But we do want to make sure we don't have too much media sitting on it. It can be sort of a pain. And we can start working the material down. This material has air egress channels in the bottom, which helps air move out from under it, making it relatively easy to lay down. Here I'm using a glove, but just your hand will work out fine or a squeegee or any other tool designed to push out air. And we want to use overlapping strokes while doing this to make sure that no air gets caught between our passes. And just continue to reveal the area by pulling down the release liner. This will make it a bit easier so you're not working with the entire panel. And use firm pressure on the outside edges. Now here we're going to be cutting on the bottom edge so that there's enough room on the panel to go under so that the bottom part of our fridge is going to be covered in vinyl. This is important because the fridge is white so we want to cover as much of the white as possible. And here we pull up the panel so that there's enough room to wrap over the top of the second door of the fridge. We want to make sure there's enough vinyl there to lay down and to cover that top area and now we're back to it. Using overlapping strokes to firmly place down the vinyl. And just to check your edges, we want to make sure that it is firmly down and that there's not going to be a weak point here. And make sure to take your time. You know, this is not a long project, but we want to make sure that it looks as nice as possible. So pressing down into any of the crevices, there are any imperfections onto the fridge, make sure that you push down into those. And when we reveal that, you see that there's some wrinkles that form, and while the liner's on there, you can see that it's relatively flat. But we're going to need to take that liner off eventually, and you can see that there's some small wrinkles that form when you're pressing down. That is completely normal. You can either press right into it and help separate that crease and turn that wrinkle into a flat area because this material is very forgiving, or you can pick up the material and reposition it. Now here for our edges, we're going to cut 45 degree angles and lay down the top piece, like so. And make sure that it's covering as much of the white as possible. And now we have this 45 degree that's sitting on the top, right? And then we can just lay it down right over there. If there's any wrinkles that form, go ahead and press those out. Look now for where your cut is going to be. I cut with a little bit of extra so that I can open the door again and then do my final cut. Making sure I get it as clean and professional look as possible. And here we're going to do the same, where I take the extra material that we had designated from the previous panel, and working it for the bottom door, doing the same. 45 degree angle, cut it, lay it down, one side at a time, 
Here I work it all the way down and work up to that top corner where I fold it and press it into the recessed area behind the door. This is going to give me a nice clean cut where you won't be seeing any white while the doors are closed. And just try to keep as straight a hand as possible. So I had a rubber line that I was able to work with. And we see how important it is to just cut on the back side of these so that our closed impression is complete. That's it, not too shabby, right? If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, feel free to give us a like, comment, share. Tell people you wrap that fridge yourself.